Hate crimes against the Jewish community are reaching new highs. 2022 was the worst year for anti-Semitic incidents across the country. And Texas topped that list according to an audit by the Anti-Defamation League. Our Andy Sirota takes a deeper dive into what's being done here locally to fight what the ADL calls an alarming and deeply disturbing surge of hate. The Jewish community represents 2.4% of the population, but are the victims in 55% of the hate crimes in this country. Many here have felt and experienced anti-Semitism firsthand. 46 of the 73 incidents reported to the ADL last year targeting the Jewish community were in the greater Houston area. That's an 87% increase over 2021. To confront it head on, Houston's Jewish community says it's going to take an all society approach. I was horrified. I felt personally offended. I felt threatened. Inside this Ziploc plastic sandwich bag, pebbles and an anti-Semitic flyer. Richard Elbine says he found it in the driveway of his home in the Riverside Terrace neighborhood near 288 and McGregor back in February. We probably picked up about 100 of them. They had blanketed the entire neighborhood. The Anti-Defamation League says this is part of a disturbing trend that began five years ago. Across the country, incidents of harassment, vandalism, and physical assaults all saw a sharp increase compared to 2021. It doesn't happen by accident. Right. People don't just decide uh, that we're going to attack Jews. It happens because um, they have been influenced. There's no single reason. One reason? The ADL says in 2022, white supremacists targeted Texas more than any other state with anti-Semitic propaganda with 527 reported incidents. That's a 61 percent increase over the previous year. And it is distressing to, to see those numbers. The million dollar question facing the Jewish community here, how do we effectively address it? Whether it's schools or synagogues, as security director for the Jewish Federation of Greater Houston, Al Tribble trains Houston's Jewish community on the importance of vigilance. You have to start at the grassroots. You have to start with the community. On a grand scale as well, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft recently launched Stand Up to Jewish Hate, a new $25 million national multimedia campaign aimed at stopping hateful acts against Jewish people. With the blue square appearing on television shows, digital billboards, and social media, symbolizing the fight against anti-Semitism. It's education. It's working to address online hate. It's working on uh, the legislative end. Richard Elbine, who filed a police report after being confronted with that hate speech and then shared the case number with neighbors on the next door app, agrees. These people spend a lot of energy being hateful that our neighborhood came together and was outraged by that behavior. If you're a victim or witness an anti-Semitic incident, you can report it to the Jewish Federation of Greater Houston online. We have that website linked to this story on clicktohouston.com. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.